guys. I've got the uh, a faster 9th gen the old computer. Massive box of the power lead there. In here the second part to the stand the main computer part and we also have keyboard mouse and the batteries it's quite a nice keyboard we have the main Dell system so let's show you how to construct this how to connect the base which is basically what I did on its own. monitor first which then with the stand the moves, then the base while it's flat down on a protected surface and then you screw up the screw lifts out so you can then do that by hand and that can get pretty tight so the connections behind network USB 3's HDMI in and out digital audio and power and the USB's there so what we need to do now is power that up I'm going to be using their cable I have got uh, kettle leads but the thing is I noticed that the plug is all molded especially their own design and I don't know what fuses in there or other protection units or anything in there so I'm going to use this so I've got their their one on there connect the power lead okay so plug the power lead in the light comes on now in the keyboard we can remove that put the triple the triple a batteries in there but that's the small ones there we go put the cover back on on the keyboard you can switch that on and then with the mouse one you pull out this cord which opens the lid and also it comes with a USB dongle that will go into the back spring again into the back it's a pretty flimsy basic mouse here there's a switch here there's a light there though so that's working plug that into the back it has rubber pads at the bottom of the stand which is, which is good so avoid scratching uh, my, my surface and I'll just angle this and I can go up and down that's on the low on here you've got a release to get to the button for the pop-up webcam the keyboard there and the power on power's coming on this is anti-glare but uh, it's quite a bright sunny day today so he's managing to come off of that a little bit There is some paperwork that comes with the computer, safety regulatory information, a little manual about the Optiplex 
7470. Now we've got to the login screen. Basically, this is just your standard Windows setup. This is Windows Pro. So you accept them. There are some we can skip if you want to limit any privacy and details. If you set up a personal use, it's going to want you to use a Microsoft uh, email from Hotmail, Outlook. Let's have a look here. Email, phone or Skype. Once you've managed to get past your sign in and creating an account, they'll ask you to set up a PIN. This is a, a lot quicker way and quite secure to log in. One thing that uh, you can choose here, only save to files. Only save files to this PC. Because this will upload everything you put on here, like pictures and that, it will upload them online. The 365 home trial. Cortana. Um, good for beginners if you want to have uh, some help and a little bit of guide at the beginning. So you kind of know what's what. If you click this, then it will monitor the audio generally constantly waiting for Hey Cortana. So if you want to voice activate your computer and have it commanded like that, this is very useful. This can be declined for now and enabled later. Or you can enable it now and then turn it off later. You've also got the speech recognition the dictation, very handy that. But this is uh, your personal choice, what you want to do. When you do this, it may well ask you to read off some sentences so that it gets used to your voice. I don't need location-based services personally, I've got it on my phone. And I believe you do get prompted halfway through when you're in Windows that it'll want to put it back on anyway. I don't need to find my device, it's at home. This is all the stuff where, you know, data is being monitored as such. If that be what you want and wanted to help you, if it's not personal, then that's fine. And because I logged in with my email, it's managed to import my computer settings like the backdrop I had on my previous computer. Windows has done a couple of updates, but it's still missing some important files. Okay, you can uh, go to Delve support website and there's a list of software here you can uh, download. A power manager, which you probably use if you had a laptop. Uh, but can also manage some other information. Have a look at that. Basically, it's a Microsoft soft store app. And then we've got Smart Bytes to do with streaming video. So if you have issues streaming video, you might think about it. Um, Dell Mobile Connect, that's where you can connect your phone and kind of wirelessly or Bluetooth be able to be really connected with the phone. So that depends if your mobile phone doesn't have uh, some software that sort of allows you to do that. 
then I selected uh, the media essential tools I thought that sounds pretty good you click on get it opens a Microsoft store <clears throat> which is there I installed that I launched it you have to register now the power media player I clicked that it went to download from cyberlink this is to play power DVD DVDs uh, enjoy 4k UHD blu-ray so yeah if you've got there's no DVD player built in so it's a little bit pointless um, but it does have some things about YouTube on there it could be worth trying out but no doubt this will then download the rest of the installation and close the web page while that's going on <clears throat> power director that's probably the same this is actually getting it from the Microsoft Store which is rather strange so this is like video editing you have to seem to click get a couple of times oh no it's actually downloading it there so we've got that downloading the cyberlink downloader which is uh, 216 megabytes install now you know you can always uninstall these at a later date <clears throat> so that's the power DVD hopefully there's stuff on there which uh, can be useful even if you haven't got a built in DVD player for that <clears throat> So it looks like it's actually um, downloaded here. Full feature, 360 or easy edit. There we go. And I've got an email confirming that I've registered. So, and then we've got this power to go. This is this is uh, disc authoring software to burn your DVDs and CDs. This hasn't got a DVD writer built in. If you have an external one, then you know you may want to think about this or not. So there's some of the software companies.